Hello and good day. This is Punchline and we are First News Nation. On Punchline, we discuss national politics 100%. I am Sami Adjifo. It's always a privilege to have you join us. Every time you use your device to watch our programs on any other platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or YouTube at First News Nation. And if you want to get the latest updates on all our shows, please enable notification by clicking the bell on any of these platforms. So every time we have a new show, you will know. The conversation today will be about the protests happening at INEC offices in selected states across Nigeria. We'll be right back. Welcome back. It's still Punchline, and I'm still Sami Ajifo. Don't forget, we are on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, wherever you're watching this. Every time you want to watch the latest of our shows, please make sure you click enable notification so that you could get every new update we come up with. The conversation of today, which you will be a part of if you drop your comments in the comment section below, is about the latest political carnivals, if I want to call that, or can I call it political party? Now, there's a difference, not political parties like the APC, the PDP, Labour Party, AAC, no. The political party going on in INEC, especially in front of INEC offices, more recently, especially after the announcement of the February 25th and the March 18th presidential and governorship uh, elections, we've had the announcement of the results have heralded a lot of, um, you know, events and activities around INEC offices, especially in a few states in Nigeria. One of those states uh, is Enugu State. Enugu State had some peculiarities, same with Abia State, but the announcement of the governorship election results, and because of the extension, we had supporters of the candidates, the Labour Party and the PDP in Enugu State, camp in front of INEC office for days, up until the results we announced they had so many activities, they played football, they had music, they ate, they had fun in front of INEC office as they expected the results to be announced. That happened in Enugu State. Uh, Abia State also had the same thing in Umahia, the state capital, and of course in Enugu. So we've been witnessing this interesting new trend of having uh, people camp out in front of INEC office, especially in Enugu and in Abia State. Now this one happened in River State. We're talking about the PDP and the APC, not the Labour Party this time around, the PDP and the APC. Even in Enugu State, we saw a lot of dramatics. We saw people kneeling down and raising their hands in the air. So much dramatics at INEC office uh, asking that INEC should announce the results. But for River State, it's about inspection of materials. The APC, led by its governorship candidate, Tonya Cole, has, uh, has disregarded and has, has also rejected the results of the governorship election that brought Simi Fubara as governor-elect of River State. Now, Tonya Cole has been to INEC office asking that the APC be allowed to inspect electoral materials. PDP said, you can't do that. You can't inspect electoral materials. That led to a clash. That led to a clash. It led to damage of property, lives where, where harmed people were beaten up, you know. They're in Port Harcourt, they're in Port Harcourt River State. That was the latest reality that was trending right now. So this thing called the political party. We've had PDP and APC in River State, both camped in front of INEC office, both enjoying themselves. There's a mini carnival. They are dancing, they are singing while they are waiting for INEC to heed their call. It's almost like a girl who the boyfriends are both outside the gate waiting for her to decide who she will take off you know, being the girlfriend or the wife too. That's what's happening right now. We call it a political party. That's what's happening. It's become a trend. And where did it start from? It started from the protest at Lekki Toll Gate sometime in 2020, where we had the very unfortunate happening. After the protest of uh, certain days at Lekki Toll Gate, where young people came out to protest the existence of the SARS movement, the special anti-robbery squad. And after days of protest, uh, the federal government gave assurances, yeah, we're going to call it off. 
what happened next? We now had the change from end SARS to end bad governance. And there was where the problem started. And then we had the police come in, we had fire tear gas, we had the army come in and shootings everywhere. Till this day, we don't know who gave the order. We don't know. The governor, governor-elect, uh, incumbent governor, also said, well, he's not the one that gave the order. Why right now everyone is quiet? But that's where everything started. At Lekki Gate, at Lekki Gate in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. That's where the protest happened. There was no crisis between the protesters. Everyone was living in peace, except for when they had the protest movement around uh, Alausa, when they had thugs in Alausa, Ikeja, that became bloody. Who would not forget that story in a hurry? So this was where the protest started. That was where we had the protest. A lot of Nigerians came out to say those who didn't support that NSARS movement, why are you protesting? You're, you're disrupting economic activity and all that. But now in Enugu, same thing happened. No one talked about properties being damaged or business activities being disrupted. Now it's happened in reverse state, but this one ended in a very bloody clash. So what's the difference between the protests in rivers, protests in Enugu, and the protests in Abia with the protests in Lagos. What's the difference between that protest and the protests of NSARS in Lekki that ended really badly? Here's the difference. Number one, youths were united. They were speaking with one voice, speaking out against police brutality, something they all suffered commonly. And bad governance, that's where, every, where everything went awry. You see, they were protesting and they were in one voice. They were united. The one in Port Harcourt, the one in Rivers, the one in Abia, political gangs. They were all gathering, especially the one in Enugu and the one in River State. We had a clash between the PDP and the APC looking for how to put their candidates by hook or crook. That's the difference between the NSARS movement that began the outdoor protest and the protest in River State and Enugu State. What's the difference between those two? There was no violence in the NSAS protests up until we started talking about end bad governance and that's where the police, the army and whoever came in and shot and killed and, and the story has been swept under the carpet. That's the difference. They were, violence is happening in River State and then they had gunshots. Even the governorship candidate of the APC was beaten and harassed. That's the difference. Now, what would we call what happened in the NSAS protest that happened across several states in Nigeria and this one that's just happening in front of INEC. We can call the, that one, the one in Lekki, the one where the young people gathered together and came out in one voice and spoke about bad governance and end police brutality. You can call that a protest. But what's happening in River State, what happened in Enugu State, with staying in front of INEC office and having the jamboree and all that stuff, that one will be called a political party. If you have comments about this, drop them in the comment section below. I am Sami Ajifo. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to join us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Take a step further, enable notifications on all these platforms so when we have a new show, you will know. Thanks for watching and stay safe.